Nintendo Switches. You may like to play them, you may like to collect them, maybe you just like to have them stolen from you. <laughs> but my favorite thing to do is to trade them. And the way I'll try to do that is I will take a Switch system like this, post it on Facebook Marketplace, and try to trade it for video games that have more value than this actual system. And you might be asking, Caleb, why would you do that? Switches are so awesome, why wouldn't you want to just play it? And the reason is, as my full-time job, I am a full-time Amazon and eBay reseller, and I specialize in video games. That's right, your boy is basically a one-man GameStop, except instead of offering you a paperclip and some pocket lint for your prized video game collection, I'll offer you an actual Nintendo Switch. And what I'll be doing in this video is taking those few switches that I showed you guys earlier and attempting to double the money that I have into them by trading up for video game lots of more value. So let's see if I can do it. All right, so I just got my first real bite on the trade post. It's for this regular switch here. Just a heads up, if you are going to do this message, you have to wade through a whole lot of really crappy offers of people saying, hey, I have a Wii or I have a broken Xbox 360. Uh, ignore all of those or say no thanks or what else do you have or whatever. Um, and this trade actually is not only for the system, but it's also for a couple of these Switch games. These are all games that I got on sale on GameStop.com, so I paid a relatively low amount for them, and I like to throw them in with my trade posts to uh, just generate a little bit more interest in case somebody has a lot of stuff to trade. And the overall value of this offer was good enough that I offered to do a couple games as well. So I'm gonna go ahead to that pickup and bring you guys along. So I didn't forget to grab that 3DS, but okay. I did have a couple extra GameCube controllers Okay, think, so. sure, yeah, I'm happy to take a look yeah. here. Right, we got the console here. Smash in there. Cool. Switch light in here, that's good. Let me just take a look at these, make sure there's not anything. Yeah, there's a couple of them that were a little rough, but okay. um, as far as I remember, all of them, at least, you know, like, 90% of them work that I've used recently. You know? mm -hmm. I've been playing like Smash and the Sunshine and stuff on it, so I know that at least, you know. Okay. And recently I've played, I've put in most of them to make sure that they work, so. Gotcha. There's a few that I didn't, I didn't touch just because I didn't really have an interest in them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely could use a clean at least. Yeah, these I don't really have a ton of use for. Okay. Um, okay. But yeah, I can I can at least do those uh, other two games. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, and which ones did you say that you wanted again? Um, the Mario Maker and the. Uh, the... All right, there's that, and here's this. Awesome, Everything man. is in there. Appreciate you so much. Yeah, of course. You have a good one. You too. Thank you. All right, folks, so it is now the next day after that trade went down. The reason that I decided to wait to film the uh, pickup and value estimation portion is that when I was doing the pickup itself, uh, as I was looking through the games, I realized that like a lot of the discs looked in kind of rough shape. Um, the reason that I decided to still go through with the transaction was one, GameCube uh, games tend to be pretty hardy. Uh, and hold up really well in general. I don't find a ton that aren't working well. Uh, and the other reason is there was enough other stuff there. I did have him send me a video ahead of time of the GameCube working and uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee in it as well. So I knew that those would be good at least. But anyway, I wanted to get a chance to test everything out and make sure that there was actually value there. Got my little higher tester TV here. If anybody uh, wants to get their own, here is the model number back here. The biggest portion value wise of this deal was definitely this item right here. This is the Pokemon uh, edition. Switch light. You've got, I think it's Zacian and Zamazenta on the back there. I played through Sword and Shield, didn't really like it. That actually is worth around 300, a little over $300 actually after fees on Amazon right now. Definitely uh, a high value Switch light to look out for. And that's the kind of thing that you can even possibly find at like video game stores. 
sometimes they will price those the same as the regular Switch Lite. So definitely keep an eye out. But yeah, I knew that between that and just Super Smash Bros, this one's going for around 60 after fees on Amazon right now. I already have more than my money back. I'm in the profit on just those two items. These are the games right here that uh, do work and are present and accounted for, but they uh, just aren't worth very much at all. The GameCube works good. And also down here we have a GameCube controller, which just needs a little bit of a cleaning, but otherwise is in great shape. So that's really nice to see. Also on the bottom of this here, we have the Game Boy Player, the uh, Game Boy Advance Game Player down here. I did make a point of asking him, I said, hey, do you have the disc that goes along with that because you need uh, the Game Boy Player disc to go inside the GameCube or else it doesn't work? Unfortunately, he didn't, which is really sad because that's like a hundred plus dollar disc, but you can sell the player itself on eBay for like 35 or 40, so that's still fine. But then the other big portion of this pickup was definitely the loose games. Dragon Ball Z Sagas here starting it off. Uh, all of these were tested and work. We've got Need for Speed Underground, Call of Duty 2, not great value there. Um, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. This is a solid one to find, about a $40 game or so, even loose. Uh, Zelda Four Swords Adventure is also a really solid one. I think that's in the maybe 30 to 40 range or so. This one was the biggest surprise for me. I've never found this game before. It's called Ultimate Muscle. Even in disc only loose condition this is about a 75 dollar disc and if you have it complete it's a hundred plus dollars so definitely look out for this game for sure it's like an anime style game um day of reckoning 2 uh wwe is like i don't know maybe 10 bucks or so we've got another need for speed not much value there mario sunshine is working good that's like a i'd say a 50 dollar game or so uh lord of the rings gamecube custom robo is a bit of a slower seller but will go for uh, 40 plus dollars after fees so that was a good find as well then we have billy hatcher another probably 40 to 50 dollar disc right here this guy had really uh good taste in gamecube games apparently we've got Le legends of wrestling that'll only be a few bucks and finally another need for speed game that doesn't have a ton of value the after fees estimated value of all this stuff here is 810 dollars which is fantastic because i had about 270 into the used Switch itself, plus another 30 into each of the games that I gave, so that is well over a double up. And then the only game that I tested out that didn't end up working that I'm gonna have to try to resurface and see if I can resurrect it is uh, just this Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition disc, which I am really crossing my fingers for because uh, if I can get it to work, that's another $40 to $50 game, which would be really excellent. Uh, but even if it does not end up working, this was a really excellent pickup and a fantastic first trade. I'm really glad that I was able to show you guys right off the bat here just how powerful trading high demand consoles can be. So let's go ahead and get to the next one. All right, folks, Switch Trade number two along with uh, Mario 3D All-Stars is about to go down. This is a Switch Lite that I think I got for, honestly, I don't remember where I got it. I think I would have paid like 180 or so. And Mario 3D All-Stars, I wanna say I got a good deal on it, but I'm gonna estimate conservatively on it and say that I have 230 total into this bundle and we're gonna go trade it away. So let's see what we get. Hey, appreciate you guys meeting me. Yeah. Now the Sega Genesis, man, I had in, in high school, so. Oh yeah? Yeah, you're gonna like that. That's awesome. Yeah, well there's that for you. Thank you. Yeah, and kind of check and check <clears throat> everything out that's in there. Yeah. The Sega games. Perfect. Now do you know the oh, trick on these new. on these older games? Like if if they're not playing right, you, you have to um it's an old school kind of like blow in them. Blow yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I know. I had a, I didn't have a Sega, but I had a N64. Yes. So I'm yes. familiar with the cartridges. And Carter threw this in there, but I don't know that you'll get any use out of this because it came with, uh, there was like a gun, but we don't have that with it. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, I mean, anything anything helps. Now he doesn't have to take my Switch for me. Yeah, she, she plays the Switch to all the time. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Yeah, my wife and I each have our own. We we like to play very different games. <laughs> These all seem in good shape, though. Mom, this is brand new. I haven't even been open. Well, that's back when, you know, you could only get one game a year. Right. That's all you could afford. Right, yeah, so you want to take care of them. Take care of what you have. Yeah. I remember saving up for them, you know. Because they were still, you know, 40 bucks, 50 maybe. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Games have been the same price for a long time. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. We got this little guy. Yeah, I'm excited for you. Have you played that game before? Um, uh, that type of system? No, that's no like that one specifically. Oh, no, I've never <clears> played it before. Gotcha. I love Mario. Me too. Well, hey, thank you guys. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Hope that is you hours of entertainment games. for you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, folks. So here is everything from that Switch Lite and game deal that I got all laid out. This deal ended up turning out really well with all of the games and systems that we got here. So this right here is about 80 bucks worth of Wii and Wii U games. The biggest standouts being uh, Wii Sports and Super Mario Bros. Wii. Nothing huge there, but those are worth 20 a piece or so. Uh, then down here, they had a bunch of inbox Genesis games, which I don't come across all that much, but was cool to see. Um, these two are the standouts of this category. They're both like $30 to $40 games in this condition on eBay. Uh, so those were great to see as well. We've got a Wii U controller, and then over here, we've just got some other titles that are pretty much worthless. The total calculated value on the games and controller is around 230, which is what we had into uh, the stuff that we traded away. So that's basically our money back, assuming everything works. And then the profit is going to be in this box here, which I'm really excited about. We've got a Wii, which also has a Wii remote that has Wii Motion Plus just as a standard feature, which is nice. So I'm going to pair this Wii with the Wii remote and Nunchuck along with Wii Sports and a copy of Wii Sports Resort and probably be able to get around 150 bucks after fees right now. Consoles are really spiked on Amazon. We've got a really nice condition GameCube, except for that yellowing right there. It's got all the caps and everything. It's just missing the power supply, so I'll have to order one of those. We've got a really nice condition white uh, Smash 4 controller here that came with it, which is good to see. Um, then we've got this NES Classic with a controller, which uh, does need an HDMI, but I've got one of those. On Amazon right now, these are going for like 150 bucks after fees, which is pretty wild, so definitely be on the lookout for those, even at your local video game stores and stuff like that. Then last but not least, we have a fully functioning Wii U system with the gamepad and, uh, you know, sensor bar and all the cords and everything that come with it. And because consoles are so spiked right now, I'm expecting to get around $500 in profit out of those four consoles, which is fantastic. All right, so this last trade of the video is actually going to be a little bit different. It's for these three Pokemon Elite Trainer boxes. I paid retail for these at 40 bucks a piece. Um, the Charizard one ones aren't worth all that much more than that. The uh, Evolutions one is still worth around 70. Um, but the Fortnite Switch was taking a little bit longer to sell. I've gotten some nibbles on it, but I decided let's just finish out the video with trading these guys. I'm pretty excited. I have 120 plus tax total into all of these, and I'm excited for the uh, deal that I managed to rustle up. So let's go do that one. And by the way, folks, if you're new to the channel, have not subscribed yet, do your brother a favor. I keep hearing from all of the other like resale YouTubers that you're not a real YouTuber until you hit 37 and a half thousand. So if you could do me a solid and hit that subscribe button and help me get there that would definitely make me feel like my life is worth something awesome and then i ran out and i forgot to grab batteries for this to be able to oh i gotcha uh, i'll take your word for it i'm sorry about that seems like it's a nice shape it is it is it has been in this so been here are these hey dougie you got the xbox all the cords and then the game boy in that one okay and awesome. Well, everything looks good, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah. <clears throat> Alrighty, you do the same. All right, folks, last deal of the video. Remember, we had about $135 into the stuff that we traded for this, and here is what we got. Starting off over here with the original Xbox One model, 500 gigs. Uh, it does have a nice white controller, just need to find a back for it. Um, these right now, because of how consoles are doing on Amazon, is going for like $185 after fees, which is excellent. So we're already $50 in the profit just with that. We have, again, for some reason, a Nintendo Black GameCube that has the Game Boy Player, but no Game Boy Player disc, which is heartbreaking. Luckily, it does have a nice... Uh, original GameCube controller with a snappy stick, so that's always good to see. I would guess uh, for just the system, I'll probably be able to get in the neighborhood of $90 to $100, then plus another $30 or $40 for the player itself. 
Then over here, we've got a Game Boy Advance SP. This is not the lighter, brighter model, unfortunately, but uh, it is in really nice shape. I mean, the screen is flawless. There's almost no damage at all. So I would say very safely uh, $60 after fees for that, although I have been known to uh, get more than that, especially when they're in this condition. Then finally, we've got a battery capless Game Boy Advance, which I did just uh, plug some batteries into and it's working great, so that is a nice little bonus as well. I'm estimating a pretty conservative uh, $30 after fees for this Game Boy Advance, which leaves us with a total value of $360 on $135 spent, which for me is an excellent rate of return. And the craziest thing is, all of these deals that you guys have seen in this video all happened within the course of about 24 hours. You guys let me know in the comments if you could do any of these three deals with which one would be your personal favorite? Folks, thank you so much for watching. These videos are a ton of fun for me to make. I've got plenty of inventory laid out here for me to process and keep me busy for a week or so. The crazy thing is GameStop just started another online sale today, so that's going to keep me busy for the rest of the day as well. But again, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, I will catch you all on the flip.